Hey everybody, it's Marcy with Marcy Creates. And today I have for you a treat. I have my finished jewelry collection from the Jesse James Mystery Bead Box Fairy Garden Whisper. Um, to say I had fun with this would be an understatement. I had a blast, but you should see my bead room. It's a bead catastrophe but I will worry about that later. <laughs> but um, I, I made so much stuff. Uh, I got lucky. I ended up with two boxes, um, kind of a fluke. But most of these things came from one box, but I, do, I did have extra, so I just wanna put that out there. Uh, but that allowed me to try lots of different ideas that I had, so that was pretty cool. So I don't know if you ever can get two boxes, but if you ever are fortunate enough to, um, you'll be able to make a lot of things. Anyway, um, I made three necklaces, seven pairs of earrings, and two bracelets. So we're gonna go through each one, and then uh, I'll wrap it up. Okay, so this really pretty three-strand necklace I made with that gorgeous fabric chain and that blush color that came in the mystery box. Those little gold rings are ones I had in my stash. I added some uh, chain, the uh, chain reaction from Jesse James. That didn't come in the mystery box, but that's another thing that's great um, when you get it, is you can really stretch your mystery boxes. And then I used this really cool Vegas chain. That was interesting to work with. I've never worked with it before, and um, it was kind of a challenge, but I think it's so pretty. And then I used the big, crystal beads and uh, I made focal with a little dragonfly which I love it's so cute and yeah it's so nice and sparkly uh, a few little seed beads too those aqua and off-white seed beads were mine other than that everything else is is from the box and uh, it's a pretty long necklace but I you know it's a statement necklace so I like to make those long so let me just give you a little close up. Sorry if my hand's wobbling. I like to, for people to see all the details, so that's why I hand hold. But if anyone has a suggestion on how to keep this from shaking, if there's some miracle product I don't have, <laughs> let me know. Anyway, that's that necklace. Uh, and I'm going to go to a set of earrings that I really like that I made next. So, so this is a very long earring. It's very dangly. I use those incredible, incredible cloisonne beads. Ugh, oh, I love those. And I love the little filigree balls too. So this is just a nice long statement earring. And I tried to make these pieces to coordinate. And I think the color palette is just beautiful. So there's those statement earrings. Next, I'm going to pull up another necklace that I made. Okay, uh, this necklace is a, just a Y necklace, um, but very elegant. I used chain reaction again. I used two of the chain reactions in this pretty aqua color. And I thought it picked up the aqua in this bead, oh, I mean, that's such a stunner. I just wanted it to stand by itself. And so I used a little, the little aqua bead that came and the, um, the pink. And it's just a nice Y necklace, very simple, but that pendant is a stunner. So I wanted that to have all the attention. This was very nice to put together. And I did use a lot of those the box clasps and so there's a box box clasp excuse me <laughs> it looks like this one yeah those were really pretty I'm glad to see those are coming back and uh let's look over here I've got some bracelets that I made just with kind of my leftovers um but they're really cute I just made this one to go with pardon me it's got the little dragonfly. Wow. Didn't mean to get that close, guys. Sorry. 
Um, but I've got those um, pretty neutral rondelles, the really pretty filigree. I used the box, the box clasp again. I did put a little extra chain because this one was a little bit short. I love these elongated crystal beads. I did throw in a few seed beads of my own. Um, the little fairy egg beads, which if you didn't see in my unboxing video, you can check that out and hear that story. And I thought that turned out really cute. And then over here, I used that Vegas chain again. And he's sliding all over. <laughs> and uh, another one of those filigree um, round beads. More of the elongated beads. More of the fairy egg beads is what I'm calling them. Another box clasp the chain in this dusty pink. Oh, I really liked working with this. I've ordered more. Um, I've got that summer kit coming, all four of those mixes, and I went ahead and got the raspberry um, chain. So you'll be seeing an unboxing of that here at some point. And um, these are just a ton of earrings, which I'm gonna go through here. I thought this is the best way to, whoops, display them. Did I drop one? Oh, this is the mate. Sorry. Sorry, guys. So this is the mate of the one I just showed you. And then, let me just slide these a little. Oops, hello. Okay, and then I used that chain in the fairy egg beads and these really pretty flower drops. I love those, the little um, charms. And I loved these drops also. Just did a simple little wrap loop with the square beads and I mix my metals. I like to do that. And those aqua beads came with the, with the box. Love, love, love the butterflies. But let me tell you, don't have your fan on <laughs> when you're trying to work with these because they kept flying off my bead mat and I was having to go hunt for them. And I have an oriental carpet on the floor, so they were blending right in. They were camouflaging, you know, they camouflage in nature and they were camouflaging in the bead world too. <laughs> so just a, just a tip, don't have your fan on, but it's so hot here. <laughs> um, oh, and this is also some more chain reaction. Seed beads and the little, more butterflies, more flutterbys, and then this turned out neat. Let me move these. This is Vegas chain with uh, these square components I had in my stash forever. I wish I knew, remembered where I got them. And then just the little rondelles and the pink and the aqua beads. That turned out very neat and very modern looking, which is not usually my style, but I really do like it. And um, these, these are fun. I loved these big green butterflies and I love these and these are very light. So these are not heavy earrings. They're long, but they're not heavy. And then the little tiny butterflies. I hope I'm not shaking all over the place, guys. I'm sorry if I am, but uh, yeah, those turned out really cute just scream summer and spring to me. And let's just do a little gallery roll here. Like we're walking down the runway. Take a closer look. Yeah, no ceiling fan. <laughs> oh. The butterfly components were fun. I really didn't know what I was going to do with them, but they just scream earrings to me. 
that's what I did. I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody else is doing with them because there was some very interesting things in this mystery bee box. I'm going to put the last necklace that I made up and we'll talk about that. So this is a choker length necklace that I made with the really pretty fabric chain. And then I made the focal piece, this really beautiful cloisonne bead. I made some dangles out of that Vegas chain with a little rondelle and a little sparkly thing. More of those beads and the those really pretty um, neutral. I've never seen a color like that in a bead, and I really, I really like it. I mean, I think it just it looks great with those. And I also did little dangles with the um, those rectangle beads, and as a little sparkly spacer. And um, so the back is adjustable. Let me pull it off here so you can see. I'm gonna pull it down here. Oops. Okay. I did add chain so that it could be adjusted. Everybody's neck length, I mean width is different, or circumference. And these are these little clamshell, they have little teeth and you just squish them and it grabbed that chain nicely. And then I made a little dangle bead with one of those really elongated bicones. And um, I thought it turned out really, really cute. So I'm gonna just put everything back and we can take a final look. But I have to say, this mystery bead box was, I mean, I just can't say enough about it. I, I love all of them. I enjoy them and I even have beads left over, of course, because I had the two boxes, but that's kind of the thing too. As you get these mystery bead boxes, you may not use everything, but you'll add to your stash. And over time, as you're getting these boxes, you can add to the things that you get and really create some one of a kind, interesting pieces. So whatever you have left over, hang on to it. I, I pretty much hoard my Jesse James beads. I haven't done a a bead room walkthrough because, well, it's a bead daster right now. <laughs> and that is a word, bead daster. But um, I literally have drawers and drawers of Jesse James beads. So um, coming up, there's gonna be some exciting, exciting news for me, uh, but not today. Uh, please join me again and um, Let's take a little walk through and I'll say my goodbyes. Okay, I'm back to say goodbye and to just do a little overview. So, seven pairs of earrings, which I love each and every one of them. There's that, boy, this lighting is, I gotta work on my lighting, sorry guys. That's a stunner. And two bracelets, which I have laid out here. We made that Y necklace Whew. with that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cloisonne bead. Man, I hope we get more of those or something like it. Those are gorgeous. And then this nice long statement three strand necklace. Thanks for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Please take care of yourselves and stay safe. And stay tuned for some very exciting announcements from me. Get yourself Jesse James mystery bead boxes. They're magical. They're happy time when you get your mail because it's not a bill. It's a nice little present for you. Until next time, take care and I will see you on the next one.